and welcome back i hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon so this morning i'm going to give you guys like quick uh live demo uh we're going to play with fellow stack x the brewer and also i just got a new scale from timer yeah so let's play with that as well and then okay better yeah so i have this uh copy grinder it's a df64 so this is not it's not the regular df64 i added a uh, SSP, the multi-purpose bird set. So give you a lump of better clarity. And actually, I really like the bird set. Uh, if you ask me, compare that with my uh, P64 here, my flapper grinder. I mean, they're both flappers. So this one, uh, P64 has a good uh, high uniformity SSP. So this one has the multi-purpose SSP. Comes to like Prover, I prefer, I have to say, I prefer copy from here uh, uh, multi-purpose boards than uh, high uniformity so it's all, all about the different you know taste you have but you know what I don't know I think I prefer the MP birds over uh, high uniformity there so anyway so let's get going I'm using the fellow stack I just learned that okay so check this out so with the fellow stack uh, explorer just gonna remove some stuff here take this Take the top, the lid off from the, your fellow stack, EKG, put right on the top, okay? And then you can actually heat up your uh, your brewer at the chamber as well. So that's pretty clever, right? So meantime, let's get going, All right? Okay, here we go. So again, I'm using the coffee from Hatch. This is very light. Uh, this is double fermented geisha. Yeah. And a uh, wonderful tasting note as well. Tasting note is, let's see, we got the peach, light sea, jasmine. This thing is fantastic. Yeah. I'm going to be using 10 gram of coffee beans. Uh, if you guys are curious about the grinder setting, I'm set at number 60 clicks there. Sixty clicks for my coffee a grind setting. All right. So here's a kind of like more like medium to fine, more like finer side. Okay. So I'm not using the uh, fellow stack uh, brewer paper. So this is the uh, Tropejoy design. It's gonna flip for the bottom once and opposite direction like so. So it's kind of like flat bottom type. So I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna shout out to Mike. One of my friends designed this one for me. So pretty much go in and becoming like no bypass, okay? No bypass brewer. So this is pretty cool. Okay. All right. This brewer is nice and hot. As you can see the steam coming out. All right, so from here. Put this one in. I think I named this one called a uh, filter smasher, okay. Go just like that. Just smash the filter right inside. Just like so. It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to put the hot water. So 
So what's going to happen is I'm going to wet the paper. Same time the paper is uh, stick to the side. Okay. I'm going to open this up. Watch this. So now this has become like no bypass brewer. Everything is all nicely secured to the side. All right. I'm just going to watch this. Watch the paper. Warm up my kettle. All right, let's make some coffee, guys. I'm using the, the timer Black Mirror Plus. There you go. Uh, comes to my recipe, it's going to be, I'm going to start with the 20 grams of water. So one, two, so initially I'm going to go one to two. I got 10 grams and 20 grams for the blooming phase. I'm just going to. Make a little hole there. I'm using the boiling hot water, by the way. Okay. Water is ready. Start my timer. I'm going to go first 20 gram. Okay. I'm just going to shake a little bit. I'm going to wait about how about 30 seconds? I'm doing the blooming phase. So next one, I'm going to go up to 65 grams of water. Go nice and easy, guys. And what I like to do is I, I like to just, the water level is just right above the grind. So, I mean, I never uh, let it get down to the, uh, to the surface of the coffee grinds there. So almost there. I'm just going to put, I'm going to put water up to 110 gram. The great thing about the fellow stack EKG, just the water or control of the water. 155 gram. There we go. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, we are doing the 1 to 20 ratio, the 10, gram, uh, 10 grams of coffee, we're going to bloom uh, brew up to about 200 grams. And I'm going to be doing the final pull. I'm going to go all the way up to 200. There we go. At this point, I like to use the spoon and just gently agitate the grinds. Just shake a little bit, gently. And that's it. We're just going to wait and see what happens. Uh, comes to total extraction time, I'm trying to shift for like uh, between like four and a half to like five minute mark. Okay, four and a half to five minutes. Uh, since the, again, there's a no, uh, no bypass, so I want to be longer. Okay, longer extraction there. Again. There we go. By the way, I highly recommend you guys 
Get some kind of notepad. Just keep track of your recipes. So this one today, I'm looking around four minutes. Okay, four, uh, around four and, a half, uh, four and a half minutes there. Let's see here. Yeah, still there. Yeah. So we're at around four minute mark. Great tasting notes. Actually, you know what? We are right on time, guys. I think we are right on time. So again, I'm using the DF64 with the SSP multi-purpose. Uh, I'm at 60 clicks uh, from the zero point. Actually, no. Comes to zero point. Hold on a second here. Hold on. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'll run 30 clicks, guys. Okay, I'll, I'll run 30 clicks. The 60 on the dial, but yeah, in reality, it's about 30 clicks. So we are looking at around five to five and a half, uh, half minutes. So, I mean, this is pretty good. I mean, this is pretty good extraction there. Yeah. That's also an, another thing I like to use the bypass method. I mean, you can get most out of it, you know, because most times whenever I use a fellow stack, Axe Brewer, I use around 15 to like uh, 15 gram in. So I do uh, about one to 15 ratio. So 15 to 225 with a 10 gram uh, recipe, one to 20, no bypass. You know what, I, I think I prefer this way. So whenever you guys are using the really high-end coffee, obviously you want to get most out of it. So yeah, uh, five minutes and 50 seconds. Look at the bed there, they're perfect, okay. Perfectly. All right. So let's try this coffee. Okay. By the way, someone asked me the other day uh, about my filter smasher. This one. He said, when, where can I get this? Uh, you can actually make this, okay? You can actually make, if you have a 3D print at home, uh, I think this, uh, so this one is, uh, uh, talking to Mike, uh, made out of corn, okay? Corn extract, this film, so. Uh, comes to safety, I think, I think I'll be okay, all right, because I'm not cooking with this, so I'm just gonna go uh, run, uh, I mean, just run through the hot water anyway, so. Come to safety-wise, I should be all right. I can smell peach. All right, guys, cheers. Man, it's hot out though, okay? I don't know about you guys, but it's very hot in Tucson. Jasmine, definitely. Peach, and what else? A lot of peach, okay? And lights as well. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, so I had this coffee last year. So I mean, according to Hatch, it's not the same harvest as the last year one. Because the last year, oh boy, last year was amazing. But this year one, <clears throat> if I'm gonna rate this, I say eight out of 10. Last year was more like 9.5 out of 10. They're still good, okay, they're still fantastic, but Not like last year, okay? I think I have a really high expectation. So, so multi-purpose is fantastic. You know what, maybe like next couple of days, uh, let's play with uh, EK43 as well, because EK43 does wonderful uh, pour over, okay? For filter coffee is amazing. 
Uh, Jonathan asks, uh, what do you recommend, Eureka or DF64? The Eureka Minion Zero uh, is all about the price. If the Eureka, uh, Eureka Minion Zero comes in around $400, around 400, uh, 400 US dollars, I think I go with the Eureka. And uh, if the grinder is up to like above 500, I say go with the DF64. It's, uh, it's, it's all about the price at that point. Because around $500, because with the DF64, uh, you can get from uh, Joe from Espresso Outlet, uh, $420 shipped, okay? Uh, with the stock birds, not the SSP. With the SSP, you're looking at another 200 bucks, you know, 180. So let's say 200. So you're looking at 420 plus 200, that's a 620, 620 bucks. You, you get to have SSP birds for 620 bucks. That's fantastic. But if that uh, if Eureka Zero is comes in around four hundred dollar range from Home Espresso, I mean that does a pretty good job as well, single dose. But you, uh, the the great thing about the <clears throat> DF sixty four, you have a lot more options. Yeah, you, uh, you have a sixty four millimeter SSP birds the lineup. But here's the thing though, I mean, once you buy one, if you decide to get another one, that costs you another two hundred dollars. And you have to take it out. You got to line it. I mean, it's a lot of work. Okay, it's a lot of work for. So in reality, I don't know, guys. Again, I'm I'm hoping Eureka Minion Zero comes in at four four hundred. All right. All right. Hold on a second. Matt has what does not coming close. Okay, here we go. So yeah, uh, yellow, yellow. The flappers are totally different than conical. Yeah, that is true. All right. The niche doesn't come close to taste from the F64. <clears throat> uh, they're different birds. We are, <clears throat> we are talking about apple to orange, okay? The conical versus the flapper. I mean, they, again, people love conical. And also people love flapper. So, I mean, it all depends on your taste. You know, try both, okay? Try both. And so find out what you, uh, what you, uh, what you prefer. If you, if you determine that if you like the conical, the niche is very good option. Price is good. Comes with a 63 millimeter conical burrs. 63 millimeter. They're they're pretty good, pretty decent size there. And the price range is what six what six fifty. I think uh, with the shipping and stuff uh, around like seven fifty or so. So price is right. Yeah, if you like conical, if you like flat, man, you have a lot of options. Okay, you have a lot of options for flat burrs. So. Let's see, so this coffee is cooled down a little bit. Man, strong peach flavor. Man, it's not bad. Okay, it's really, it's not bad at all. I mean, again, it's more like eight out of ten. Great for iced coffee as well. <clears throat> Fantastic iced coffee too. So this scale comes to basic scale. The Black Mirror Plus. You know what? I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with it. Okay, It's not too fancy. Yeah, pretty basic. I mean, you know, I mean, the things, you know, that's all I need, okay, it comes to scale wise. So if you guys are into pour over, I mean, again, you have a lot of options, okay? Make sure to check out on Amazon as well. I'm going to put the link down below, okay, when I'm done with it. Check it out. Can't go wrong with it. <clears throat> yeah, let's see here. What else? I think we are pretty good this afternoon, folks. We got Murphy's on, Matt, Jonathan, Yala. Great. Okay, I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, okay? We're going to do something fun tomorrow. But at some point, I do need to compare uh, my Eureka Mignon zero versus df64 okay i think i should do that uh sometime this week yeah, it should be a lot of fun all right guys see you guys next time